Whenever we discuss about investing for our daughter's future, Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana is inevitably referred to. When Rajan talks to his friends or advisors, the discussion often revolves around investing in Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana for his 10-year-old daughter, Ria. The scheme offers the highest interest rate of 8.2% compared to other small savings schemes. Up to 1.5 lakh rupees can be deposited annually. You also get a tax exemption under Section 80C. Additionally, the entire amount received on maturity under the Sukanya Yojana is tax-free. While Rajan is definitely drawn to the higher interest and tax benefits, this might not be the right investment for him. So, why shouldn't Rajan invest in Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana? Let's find out. In Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana, an account can be opened for the daughter of up to 10 years. Rajan's daughter is also 10 years old. While he can open the account, he needs to make investment for a period of 15 years. Now, Rajan might be willing to invest for 15 years, but the Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana account matures after 21 years from the date of opening. Suppose Rajan opens the account for Rhea in January 2024. The maturity would be in January 2045. By that time, Ria would be 31 years old. She would have potentially surpassed her time when she was doing her higher education. If Rajan had opened Ria's account when she was 2 years old, it would have been a more prudent step. Rajan can withdraw 50% of the accumulated amount for Ria's education when she turns 18. If Rajan starts investing 1.5 lakh rupees annually in Sukanya account, since Ria is 10 years old now, she would have a total investment of rupees 12 lakh when she would turn 18. Considering the current 8.2% interest rate, the total amount after 8 years would amount to rupees 16.95 lakh rupees. Rajan would then be able to withdraw 50% of this accumulated account, which would come to 8.47 lakh rupees. However, this amount may not fully cover her higher education fees due to inflation. Without premature withdrawal, the corpus could grow to 70 lakh rupees by 2045. This is because of the power of compounding. Financial expert Balwant Jain says that Sukanya Yojana is a good option for a daughter's education and marriage. Although, he emphasizes on the importance of starting it early on. With a long lock-in period, it's not suitable for meeting any of your short-term needs. You should invest in this scheme only if you are a long-term investor. If Rajan invests regularly, equity mutual funds can prove to be a better option. Even in challenging market conditions over a 15-year period, the annual return of 12% is very much possible. Choosing ELSS or equity-linked saving scheme can also help him save on taxes. If Rajan invests 1.5 lakh rupees annually in equity mutual funds, he could accumulate around 29 lakh rupees in 10 years. This is assuming an estimated 12% return. In contrast, investing in SSY or Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana for 8 years would only yield around 8.47 lakh rupees. Continuing the annual 1.5 lakh rupees investment in equity mutual funds for 15 years would result in a total investment corpus of 22.5 lakh rupees. Rajan can accumulate a potential sum of 63 lakh rupees. If withdrawn after 21 years, the amount could grow to 1.24 crore rupees, which would prove to be beneficial in fulfilling his daughter's dreams. While Sukanya Samriddhi is a good plan because of its attractive interest rates and tax-saving benefits, equity mutual funds outshine them in terms of returns. If your daughter is older, opening a Sukanya account for her higher education might not be a wise decision. Investing in equity mutual funds remains a better option.